Since Einstein, scientists have dreamed of laser light powered rockets streaking through space at speeds approaching the speed of light. This vision has come a step closer to reality. The senior aerospace engineer and leading rocket scientist in laser and advanced propulsion at the Air Force Research Laboratory calls it pretty incredible. Since Dr. Robert Goddard launched a 10-foot rocket from a New England farm more than 80 years ago, the basic technology used to launch spacecraft hasn't changed much. What is still required is a violent combustion of fuel and oxygen to propel the vehicle. Until now, other proposed advanced propulsion concepts, such as antimatter and fusion propulsion, have been unworkable. However, Dr. Young K. Bay may well have hit on a propulsion technology that could revolutionize space travel. The photonic laser thruster requires uh, two systems, one for like a powering system, another for uh, like a spacecraft. And the mirror is located in the spacecraft and uh, as well as in the powering system. And so we are bouncing the photon back and forth between these, these two systems many times. We can think about this is almost like a, the gun, okay? The gun has a muzzle, so the laser device is almost like a, a consist of a two spacecraft, but it's, it forms a photon muzzle. So when the photons are bouncing back and forth, then it's going to be accelerated, and at a, at a certain point, it's going to disengage. Therefore, no bouncing force of the photon. And, you, and then I estimate with the current uh, economically viable technology, the muzzle length would be in the order of a thousand kilometers or a little bit more. And once the spacecraft has left, then there is no uh, push anymore. The laser thruster could be used for a wide range of space applications. Dr. Bay has plans to use the thruster for accurately controlling tethered spacecraft flying in formation. We have uh, proposed the idea of a photon tether formation flying, which requires combination of photon thrusters and uh, th tethers. And the photon thruster is for pushing the spacecraft apart and then we counterbalance that with the tether to pull it in. And with that we can have a highly stabilized space structure without too much hardware environment. And so uh, if we want to build a gigantic telescopes or gigantic radar a structure would be highly ideal because uh, the cost of building this structure would be very low. Within a few years, laser-powered spacecraft may no longer be science fiction.